Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the ball this Hollywood show now here. About to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. And this video we do the card pack number six for 30,000 coins. Contains one silver character plus two other cards. As you saw the fatality on Reptile a moment ago. So we're going to go buy the card pack. Inside we would see a special attack for a silver tier character. We also receive a Riot Gear, which is our first armor, 5% max health boost. And our third card is a Ermac, who is a new card that I haven't received yet. Soul Fusion, when a teammate is defeated, gains 40% of their attack and toughness, max once per match. We're actually going to go into battle... We can actually stick with this fight. We're going to leave Grandmaster Sub-Zero in. As you see, 3,915 attack. We're going to put the new Ermac in. Ermac. And base stats at level 1. 560 attack, 530 health, 570 toughness, 670 recovery. Which is the third amazing silver card, along with Jax and Kenchi. And the Soul Fusion can be really good if you know how to use it right. So we're going to go into Grandmaster Sub-Zero. We're actually going to give him the new armor that we finally received, the Riot Gear. And we also got the achievement Required Number Flare for equipping all equipment slots to one character. So we're going to go into this fight, and we're probably going to take a bit of damage on, Scorp on Sub-Zero. We're going to knock him out first and see how much damage Ermac can do. I believe it said 40 or 50 percent of their health and toughness. Actually, is a large amount. Shuri Ryu is going to beat down Grandmaster Sub Zero. It might actually take a while since I do have a promotion on that. Zero is a fucking tank in a promotion. This is one of the higher health gold cards. I believe he has faced 1,000. Sarian spits on Sub Zero, and he's finally barely under half health. That's a shit to giggle. We're gonna get off an ice block for 783. Shuri Ryu comes in. Kana is at two bars. Sub Zero finally getting down on health. That Splash might almost get rid of him, not quite. These guys are trying, they can't knock him out. And that Ice Decoy triggers so the Grand Master Sub-Zero with the Emergency. And the Shipping Giggles, I think we're going to tag in Katana and test that out. See if that actually works the way I think it does. We're going to see if we can actually go off more than once per match. Kune hits for about 550. Another Kune, Sub Zero still not knocked out, finally knocked out. Ermac comes in. So you can see 128.86, Force Lift. It's for 851. This is at level 1. 32.64.96. Well, 192. We're going to stop this fight on purpose. That way we can try to show off the difference. As we could have easily won that fight. Scorpion has to recharge, so we're just going to throw in Silver Scorpion, as it really doesn't matter. And we're going to use this right roster again. Now, Katana uh, by herself can handle all the fights leading up to Boss Reptile. So if you need to level up your bronze cards or any other cards, this is a good battle to do it on. I believe it's tower number 12. So now we're gonna check out the damage difference and see if that passive works in play. Yeah, it does. You can see the damage difference there. So Ermac pretty much doing no damage now. He actually was doing a little bit of damage with that. So the force lift also connects. Outstanding. It's for a whopping 147, so that passive definitely works as it was. I think the first rank hits about 800. The uplift will dry up straight right. And sorry it comes in. That spit hits for 483. Silver Scorpion can still do some decent damage. Sorry 
strong in that one bar. Mark comes in. I don't want to spear him. Locked for 578. Now that punch is unblockable. It not really hurt Scorpion that badly. Sargon comes in, so we're going to spear him. For 568. Ermac comes in with the force limb. And this will almost get rid of him. That's for 147. Ermac almost getting the knockout. Monk comes back in. And that wipes out Ermac. No chance of surviving that. So Katana comes in and stabs Monk. Almost wipes him out. Sarian comes in. Block for 447. Shuri Ryu comes in and gets wiped out. And Monk also eliminated for the second test fight as the passive boost definitely works. 8,500 XP and Ermac should hit level 5. Yes, he does. 390 combat coins. So if you like this video on the combat pack number 6, obtaining Ermac, also showing off how his passive ability works, even at level 1, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. Subscribe, bitches!